It is too early to declare that American motorcycle manufacturing is back to its former glory. But an optimistic reassessment leads us to believe that the renaissance is definitely underway. Resurrected brands promising electric startups and old-school manufacturers with all new models. What is it if not a fresh start for the US motorbike industry? Today we'll explore 12 of the most important new American bikes of 2022. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride! Buell Hammerhead Established in 1987, the brainchild of Eric Buell had a rather turbulent history. It was acquired and then killed off by Harley, then recreated by Buell, almost going bankrupt in 2015. This year, the brand is returning to the League of Production Motorcycles with a new Hammerhead sports bike. Based on the previous 1190RX, the model uses an aluminum fuel and frame chassis dressed in new bodywork. Up front, it is suspended by a fully adjustable USD big piston fork by Showa, while at the rear, there is a single no linkage shock by the same brand. The bike also has a unique single perimeter front braking system with a 386mm disc and an 8 piston caliper. The drivetrain is not lagging behind the rest of the standard equipment. So you get a 1190cc transverse 72 degree V twin with fuel injection and a 6 speed hydraulically actuated slipper clutch. The mill delivers 185 horses and over 100 pound feet of torque. Indian Challenger Dark Horse Jack Daniels As a part of the ongoing partnership, America's first motorcycle company and America's first registered distillery join efforts with Clockworks Custom Cycles to deliver a 107 units limited edition bagger. Drawing inspiration from the Tennessee rye whiskey, the new Challenger Dark Horse Jack Daniels wears a custom rye metallic paint with gold and green accents. Each bike features a numbered Montana Silversmith badge custom engraved rider and passenger floorboards, and a genuine leather custom stitch seat. As a part of the limited edition package, the bike gets an adaptive Pathfinder LED headlight, Fox electronically adjustable rear suspension preload, 6-axis Bosch IMU, and power band audio. As before, the 108 cubic inch Power Plus engine delivers 122 horsepower and 128 pound-feet but riders can also opt for the Stage 1 air intake and oval slip-on muffler kit to unleash 10% more power and 3% more torque. Harley-Davidson Sportster S The Sportster moniker is America's longest-running motorcycle model, a constant that has followed the same formula for the past 64 years. But since the company is embracing the change, this iconic bike must go through the revolution as well. The symbol of Harley's new era acquires the Revolution Max 1250T liquid-cooled V twin with double overhead camshaft and variable valve timing. This power cruiser revs to 7500 rpm to produce 121 horsepower, while the 94 pound-feet of torque open up between 3000 and 6000 rpm. The engine becomes a structural component of the chassis, which decreases the weight to 502 pounds. The exhaust system is clearly inspired by the Harley's glorious track days, so it has a dual-pipe design and is crafted from corrosion-resistant 304 series stainless steel. The Sportster S is equipped with cornering ABS and traction control, three riding modes, and a 4-inch digital round dash with Bluetooth connectivity. If you still have faith in the triumph of American motorcycles, make sure to like this episode and write a couple of words of encouragement in the comment section. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Zero Motorcycles FXE After establishing its presence across all the major motorbike classes, Zero Motorcycles take a breather to refresh the existing models. The new design language is applied to the FXS Supermoto, and it clearly draws inspiration from the concept by Bill Webb of huge design. The futuristic bodywork attempts to create a single-piece fuselage impression, and the new LED heads and taillights brightly pierce through the deepest darkness. The Zero FXC is built around the same air-cooled Zero ZF-75.5 powertrain that makes 46 horsepower and 78 pound-feet. However, the Z-Force battery pack doubles in capacity to 7.2 kWh. So range-wise, the new limit for the Zero FXC is 100 miles of city riding. 
The bike is equipped with a bonded 5-inch DFT dash with a Cypher 2 operating system, Bosch Gen 9 ABS system, Showway adjustable suspension, and Pirelli Diablo Rosso 2 rubber. Curtis Motorcycles 1 Originally known as Confederate, the manufacturer of exotic internal combustion powered bikes, the company has completely rebranded itself in 2017. This year, Curtis' efforts finally come to fruition and the company launches its first electric cruiser, named the One. The model gets two wheelbase lengths, 62 inches with a 27 degree rake or 64 with 31. Its monocoque incorporates a centrally mounted battery pack that acts as a load bearing member has 399 volt architecture and offers 16.8 kWh capacity. The power comes from a mid-placed motor with no gearbox and a direct belt drive to the rear wheel. In the one, this propulsion unit is rated for 120 horses and 147 pound-feet, but Curtis claims that it can output as much as 217 HP and 272 pound-feet. The company calls this system future-proof, which we assume hints at even more powerful applications being in the works. Indian FTR When the FTR 1200 first hit dealerships, it was marketed as some sort of a scrambler. But the 2022 refresh is aimed at moving the bike towards the on-road use. All the trims besides the rally are equipped with the new 17-inch cast aluminum wheels and Metzler Sportec tires. The seat height was lowered to 32 inches, and the suspension is now fully adjustable with 4.7 inches of travel. The 1203cc V-twin still makes 120 horsepower and 87 pound-feet of torque, but it was retuned to improve cold starts and deliver smoother riding experience. Plus, rear cylinder deactivation is now standard across the range. The 2022 FTR and FTR Rally keep analog gauges, while the FTR S and R Carbon come with a programmable 4.3-inch digital LCD gauge display. Genus Motorcycles Halcyon 450 In the recent years, the Indiana-based Genus Motorcycles has become a familiar name in the segment of retro-styled bikes. However, until now the company had nothing to offer to the riders who are not satisfied by the entry-level 250cc motors and want a mean-looking old-school with a larger engine. Here's where the new Halcyon 450 comes into play. The bike has the same looks of the smaller displacement model of the same name, but it is built on its own frame. The latter gets a leading link fork, a cantilever-style swing arm, and a full rear suspension with a twin icon shock. The stopping power is supplied by the Brembo brake calipers front and rear, plus ABS is fitted as standard. Finally, the bike is equipped with a new single-cylinder engine. The mill has 445cc displacement, features fuel injection, and gets both air and oil cooling, delivering 30 horsepower at peak. Harley-Davidson Electric Light Revival The Revival is the first representative of the brand's extremely rare icons collection. It reimagines the original 1969 FL Electric Light wearing a classic tritone paint scheme with hi-fi blue, black denim, and birch white colors. The body is drowning in chrome, plus there are recreated 1969 badges. Limited to 1500 units, this bagger gets an egocentric solo seat suspended with a dual bending valve fork and a hand adjustable rear shock. To enhance the retro vibes, the revival is decorated with the old school saddlebags with the rails and a bat wing fairing. The main headlight is halogen and it is flanked by two auxiliary incandescent lights. The HD electric light revival is powered by a Milwaukee 8114 that peaks at 97 horses and 118 pound feet. Despite its old-school exterior, the bike is still smartphone-integrated and is equipped with Harley's full suite of electronic aids. Indian Super Chief Sitting on top of the new Indian Chief family, the Super Chief shares the steel tube frame and the classic look, while also boasting a far more extensive list of standard touring equipment. The bike is powered by the company's Thunderstroke V-20 engine, but in the range-topping limited trim, it has a bigger displacement of 1,890cc. This mill is good for 79 horses and 120 pound-feet of twist. 
Thanks to a different handlebar, the Super Chief lets you sit more upright, while its long-distance inclinations are made obvious by the standard black leather saddlebags, rubber-covered floorboards, and a quick-release windscreen. The model gets ABS, cruise control, and in case of the Limited, a 4-inch round display with Bluetooth-connected right command system. Additional distinctions include chrome dual exhaust, large headlight buckets with nacelle, and a touring seat with a passenger pad. Archimoto Roadster The Oregon-based Archimoto is the best-known manufacturer of electric three-wheelers. The all-new Roadster is a lifestyle-oriented model based on the same patented electric platform as the regular Archimoto FUV. However, unlike the original, it has no roof or roll cage, providing a pure reverse strike riding experience. The duo of front wheels are spawned by two electric motors with an expected combined output of 77 horsepower. Around the city, its 20 kWh battery pack is estimated to last you around 100 miles. But the Roadster is also fully highway capable, with its top speed reaching 75 mph. For the price, this Archimoto's three-wheeler comes with hydraulic disc brakes, heated seats and grips, and Bluetooth speakers. You can also opt for lockable rear storage and extra holders for smaller stuff. Harley-Davidson Pan America Despite skeptical expectations, Harley-Davidson addressed many shortcomings of their competitors and actually delivered one of the most approachable high-displacement adventure tours. We will start with the all-new high-revving 1250cc 60-degree Revolution Max V-Twin. It is liquid-cooled, controlled via 6-speed transmission and peaks at 150 horsepower and 90 pound-feet of torque. The model gets a semi-active show YBBF suspension with a special off-road mode. Plus, on the Pan America 1250 Special, it will feature an adaptive right height function. When the bike comes to a stop, by automatically adjusting the preload, it lowers the seat to nearly 30 inches, making it extremely accessible to shorter riders. This HD gets exclusive radial monoblock for piston calipers, co-developed with Brembo, and a set of bespoke Michelin Scorcher tires. To top off the already impressive list of features, we should mention 6-axis IMU, 6.8-inch infotainment, tubeless wheels, and an advanced Daymaker adaptive headlamp. Saunders Metacycle After revolutionizing the world of electric bicycles, Storm Saunders is entering the motorcycle market with a new model that strikes a perfect balance between affordable pricing availability of standard tech, and highway rated performance. The Metacycle sits on the EXO frame that is made using one-piece welting-free casting. It is fitted with an adjustable inverted fork, 17-inch wheels, and bipred disc brakes with hydraulic locks. The 11-horsepower motor is housed in the rear hub, while the removable 4kWh battery is placed in the frame. The model's peak output reaches modest 20 horses. The torque is quite respectable at 130 pound-feet, while the expected range nears 80 miles. At the moment, Sanders plans to supply the bike with a standard 1.2 kW charger that allows you to fully replenish the pack in under 4 hours. What is your personal score for the American bikes in 2022? Leave your 1 to 10 rating in the comments below the video, and we would also like to hear your favorite models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and smash the like button to keep the stream of videos flowing. More informative content is on the screen behind the links, so follow them, and as always, may the torque be with you!